Hi, my name is John Whitehead. I'm an executive and leadership coach. And welcome to this week's video blog post. So here we are again, Cruises and Parsons, the Leadership Challenge. And we've only got a couple of episodes left in this series that I've been doing on their work, looking at the five practices and then the six behaviors. And we come to the third, be, uh, third behavior now in that final practice of encouraging the heart. And that behavior says, make sure that people are creatively rewarded for their contributions to the success of projects. Make sure that people are creatively rewarded for their contributions to the success of projects. Now, again, one of the things Cruises and Parsons do is they took a look at how frequently leaders did these things. So it's not a one-off. It's not a, oh, uh, such so-and-so has completed this project, I'll just, we'll just do a celebration, we'll, you know, we'll publicly recognize them. It's an ongoing process. You don't do it once and then that's it, you think you've done it. And there was some research done, and this is from the work uh, of Tom Rath and Donald Clifton from their How Full Is Your Bucket? How Full Is Your Bucket? And they talk about the positive to negative ratios, right? How many positives, uh, responses you give or you receive to negative ones that you receive or give. And they showed, their research showed that people who engage in at least three positive interactions for every negative interaction tend to be more effective and productive than those who have lower ratio of positive to negative interactions. Now, we would think that makes sense, right? We make, that makes sense that we should, that the positive is a, a, a much more beneficial approach. But again, think about this. As a leader, how often, when was the last time you gave your staff positive reinforcement? Or yourself, when was the last time you received positive reinforcement? And when was the last time you received a negative reinforcement? Do, do, do you get the phone calls because you've done something right or something wrong? Usually because we've done something wrong, right? <laughs> or somebody wants to clarify something. And that's always in the negative as well. Um, being aware of the language that we're using when we talk to our direct reports. You know, Marshall Goldsmith talks about not saying but, no, or however, or starting a, a sentence with no but or however. Because by doing that, the message that we're sending is, my idea is better. I think I know better. You know, they come to you with a suggestion. You say, okay, yeah, that's interesting, but that, 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 or however have you thought of. It's the language that we use. So it's celebrating people. It's acknowledged that, acknowledging them. Encouraging the heart is about building people uh, egos a little bit when they're down, right? But it's also not just when they're down, it's across the board. So three to one, three to one, giving three positives to one negative. I mean, I'm not suggesting that we keep a chart, right, and a checklist, but just being mindful of that, I think, makes a difference. Being, being aware of it, being aware of how we're approaching people. So if a week or so ago, I talked about um, walking around and showing up um in front of your staff and just they think it's an impromptu visit but for you as a planned visit because your your focus is to say hey the job you did i appreciate that job you did or thanks for the help you bring to the team or whatever it is you know the situations and the scenarios what do you bring encouraging the heart is is a reason why it's the last practice because it caps everything off. You know, I'm really interested in what you might think about that and your thoughts and ideas and any stories you have. Feel free to put them in the comment section below. And again, feel free to sign up for my video blog posts if you do um, by going to the link at the end of this video. Um, I'll send you a copy of my book, What Are These Things Called? Soft Skills. Thanks very much. We'll talk to you later.